Hello guys and welcome to a new video. Today's video will be in three parts and I'm gonna leave timestamps in the description so that you can skip to the part you want. I wanna start it by correcting a mistake that I made in the previous video. For you who watched it in the first and the most important tip, I mentioned that you need to adjust your third person sensitivity. But sadly, I showed the wrong one because there are two third person sensitivities. The first one is under camera sensitivity and the other one is under firing sensitivity. So what's the difference between the two? Well, first of all, the third person camera sensitivity controls the hip fire aim speed when you're not shooting. I mean, you still need to adjust it a little bit, but it's not that important. What we're interested in is the third person firing sensitivity because this one controls the aim speed when you're actually firing your gun with hip fire. So I have mine at 80, which is perfect for me as it allows me to track enemy movement easily when shooting. And let's say I increased it to 200. You will notice that my aim goes crazy and out of control. And vice versa if i make it slow let's say 10 then it feels like it's stuck on mud so make sure you spend a good amount of time adjusting and finding the perfect sensitivity that works for you Now that's out of the way, let's go back to today's video as I'll be showing you how you can achieve the maximum speed in the game. And I know most of you already know this, but I'll explain it in more details. So you need two things. First of all, Trap Master class. And second of all, a legendary fast ADS mod. So we already know that the legendary ADS mod has speed boost perk, which can be activated by opening your scope. But why do we need Trap Master? That's because Trap Master also has speed boost perk. And to activate it, all you need to do is use a trap, which will give you a temporary speed boost. One thing you need to do first is to make sure that you have your trap master class upgraded because it will give you faster speed. Now there are two questions that I want to answer here. First of all the main question is can you stack the speed boost gained from the fast ADS mod with the speed boost gained from using trap master and the answer is yes. So what I like to do is first of all I place the trap on the ground then quickly open and close the scope of my gun. This will give you an insane speed boost to the point where you might end up traveling back in time all the way back to the days where we had a secret cave on isolated and i'm not exaggerating when i tell you that it's almost the same as the speed hack that the cheaters use so don't be surprised if you get reported for it the second question is does the gun you're using affect the speed and again the answer is yes so let's say you use this trick with a fennec and pkm then your speed with the fennec will be much faster compared to the pkm so it's always best to use guns with high mobility to achieve the highest speed possible and now that we're done with the explanation we're gonna see this combo in action as i'll be going back to alcatraz prison fighting for my freedom in a game full of players and non-stop action i hope you guys enjoy and let's get started Let's talk a little bit about the classes and the guns we have right now on Alcatraz So my top 3 classes first of all in number 3 pumped class And in second place the poltergeist class and finally in number one, the Trap Master. Trap Master class is so broken on Alcatraz because most of the fights are inside buildings and you can pretty much turn any building into your own playground by placing traps near key entrances. That combined with the speed boost you gain from placing the trap will enable you to delete full squads easily. As for the best guns for close range, I always go for guns with high mag capacity because I noticed in most fights that the player with more ammo mostly wins. So my favorite one is the CBR. It has a lot of ammo, I go down damage and it has good hip fire accuracy. The PP is also good but it feels like it deals less damage and the accuracy beyond 10 meters isn't that great. Other than that you can use the BY-15. Even though it's not consistent it can still one shot enemies especially if you find long barrel mud and use it with ADS. But if you manage to find an extender mag then you should always go for the Fennec or the RUS. I think they're better than all the guns I mentioned. As for mid to long range my favorite is the M13 followed by the M4 and the AK-47. I mean the kilo is good after the buff but not good enough for me. Enemy down. Enemy. Changing mag.
bag covered with this squad was camping that room for a while now and I didn't want to risk crushing them knowing that there are four players hugging each other with traps planted around them. Maybe if I had grenades I could have used them to clear the traps but all I had was smokes. So I decided to play it safe because I died to many trap master users and I really hate dying to them. Finally, after a while, one of them decided to leave the nest and that was my chance to go in. Engaging the enemy! Enemy eliminated. Enemy down. These guys had all the loot I needed. A trap master with a golden fast ADS mod and even a golden extender mod. So at this point, it was pretty much GG. Changing mag. Changing mag. Changing mag. Changing mag! Half of the teams are eliminated. The airdrop is coming. Reloading, cover me. That was a perfect example to showcase the power of this combo. That enemy squad didn't even have time to react because they didn't know what they were dealing with. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did, a like would be highly appreciated. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.